Hey, what's up, everybody? Daddy Dave, Street Outlaws. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are out in the shop today, um, getting ready for the filming of America's List, season number two. We just finished up NPK. Um, of course, everybody knows I crashed the car back in June. Took us a while to get it going, and uh, but once we got it back together, uh, we come out and we made uh, we made some waves in NPK. We finished up the season in Florida. I ended up going to the semifinals with Ryan Martin, Little Country, and Mike Bowman. Uh, I drew Ryan Martin, which I was okay with. That just meant that one of the four or five guys was going into the finals, and uh, it just so happened to be Ryan Martin. And of course, he won the championship for season four of NPK. Uh, hats off to him. Congratulations. He puts the work in, and uh, he's if he ain't racing, he's testing, and if he's not testing, he's racing. So hats off to him. He won the championship. We did real good in the final race. The car's hauling ass. Everything's working the way it's supposed to be. So we got done with MPK and we have to film season two of America's List. So we, um, I decided to go through the motor. I had just put a brand new set of cylinder heads on it, but the short block, the rods, pistons, and uh, camshaft and lifters, all that had uh, just over 100 passes on them. Minus the rods, I've put uh, I've put two sets of rods in this motor, so we go 30 to 40 passes on a set of rods, change them out. But the pistons, rings, um, main bearings, the camshaft, lifters, basically everything except for the cylinder heads and the rods had 113 passes on them. So it was time to get rid of that stuff before it breaks. We check the crankshaft to make sure it's not cracked and uh, just go through everything, make sure everything's still legit, everything's rebuilt or top notch or replaced. So we got a tour part now. Uh, we got Grant in here. He is from Australia, but he works close with ProLine and I've personally never done a Hemi motor, never been into the uh, anything other than just changing the rods in it. So we messed up the camshaft in Ennis, Texas. One of the lifters tried to lock it up so um, we've been nursing that thing for the last, uh, we nursed it in Ennis, Louisiana, and Florida. So we've nursed it for three races. Luckily, it didn't get any worse. We pulled the lifter out, I put a new lifter in, um, and it got us through the rest of the season. So ordering a new camshaft also. I've never degreed one in in a Hemi, so I got Grant here. He works close with ProLine. And he's showing me the ins and outs of this motor and how to make things easier for in a hurry. Like we're, like if you're at the track and something happens or something breaks, he's giving me the little secrets that he's learned over the years on uh, what makes things go quicker, get the parts swapped out so you can make next round. So he's very knowledgeable and I'm learning a lot from him about this Hemi motor. But we'll just walk around and show you everything that we got tore apart. This is the short block. It's an Allen Johnson deal. Um, Alan Johnson and ProLine have worked together to design this masterpiece. Um, they did a phenomenal job on the whole design of it. It's easy to work on, especially if you're at the track and in a hurry. Everything is o-ringed. Uh, this whole thing has got an o-ring on it. The intake is o-ringed. Uh, the oil pan's o-ringed. Everything so you can jerk it apart at the track change the parts you need to and go on and, and do it in a quick hurry. So we took the crankshaft out and had it checked uh, to make sure it wasn't cracked. And luckily after 113 passes it wasn't cracked. Thank God. Uh, valve train And here's the camshaft I was referring to. This lobe right here is pretty tore up. The rest of them are real smooth. 
like they're supposed to be. This one is chewed up pretty good. Or the lifter try to lock up on it. Cylinder heads. <clears throat> like I said, the intake side of it's O-ringed. So you ain't got to worry about gaskets. And the new rack. So it's pistons. The rings are already file fitted for the bores. New rods, new bearings. When you order this from ProLine, it comes just like that. And ProLine has all your specs for their motors, everything, ring gaps, what it's supposed to be. Uh, new set of jezels, lifters. These things are keyway, they have a keyway on them right here. So we'll stick a new set of lifters in it. We'll send these off and get them rebuilt uh, for the next freshen up. We'll just slide new lifters in it. Those will be all rebuilt, brand new when they come back from Jizzle. Seeing we're getting ready for street racing, we'll leave this big one off. This is the 140. F3 140 and we'll put the smaller F3 121 on it for the street. So 113 passes and the bearings still look phenomenal. Pistons, the old pistons look great. We will actually clean those up, put a new set of rings on them and a new set of rods and have them ready to go in case of an emergency. So they'll be cleaned up, new rods, new rings, everything reconditioned, put back in that rack, and put back in the trailer for the next time in case we have an emergency or we need one. But I will video some tomorrow. Uh, the camshaft, the new camshaft is supposed to be here tomorrow. We're waiting on that, and uh, we'll degree that in, put the motor all back together. And I'll slide it back in. Uh, we can, as of right now, we have eight days before I have to leave to go film America's List. And it will be ready. Hopefully we'll have this thing running Thursday. <clears throat> load it in a trailer. And then go to, uh, go to location. The oil pan had a crack in it, so we're... Gonna take that tomorrow. I did horrible on season one of America's List. Uh, it was twin turbo back then and we fought a bunch of issues. But uh, I have I have raced this on the street with a Pro Charger combination and it is not the same car it is a hundred times better more controllable uh, and that's one of the main reasons i went back to pro charger so we'll film some tomorrow uh putting pistons in camshaft we'll get all that and uh we'll get this thing all back together and get it fired up and get it put in the trailer so we can leave to go do some filming